started studying the violin at five years old because my older sister was already taking. She's about five years older than me, and I just grew up hearing her songs and her recitals all over the place to the point where the songs would get stuck in my head. And I came up to my mom one day and was like, Mom, I really want to play the song that Bonnie plays so much, but I can't, so can I take violin? So she was like, sure, and that's where it all began. My mom kind of thought it'd be fun for us to have music as part of our education and um, she just heard it was kind of good for muscles and for, you know, like developing brains and <laughs> things like that. So um, I started out with Miss Tammy Mason and I fiddled um, up until about 11 and then I started here with Mr. Song. Mr. Song really was a friend and such an encourager for me. Um, he went out of his way to make sure I was prepared for any recitals or competitions. He would um, allow me to step into his office any time of day to play something through for him and get a little bit of critique and just really work with me and um, send me messages throughout the day um, encouraging me about different things. To um, feel that's my call to be um, able to nurturing, nurturing those uh, students that to, to make sure they are their um, spiritual uh, faith is strong and, and be able to handle uh, those currencies in the, in the real world that uh, uh, either somebody tell you not good enough or somebody tell you you are too good. <laughs> either way, it's not true. The only true thing is that God makes you as a, as a violinist and you already have, you are already very precious in God's eye. So, so you, in that way, you should be complete peace and do the best you can to, to glorify the Lord. And that's what uh, I always, uh, I think that's, uh, at this point, I feel like very comfort to see the girls, including other students, that that's my goal of teaching, to keep peace and sometimes enjoy what they're doing, rather than struggling, try to be better than somebody or try to be, uh, try to feel depressed if somebody, if somebody say you're not good enough. And so, so those are the things I really thinking is uh, the, uh, the main thing of, of destroy a performer by those negative uh, environment. I think it's a lot easier to practice when you realize that um, you're performing um, as a form of praise and it's not about the number of mistakes you make but it's about how well you present the music and what your understanding of the music is and the joy that you express and how you want to share with the audience. And when you have that kind of mindset, I think it's easier to practice and it's not a kind of desperate practice. It's more like patient and calm and you know um, that you know it's gonna be fun in the end. You just need to put your work in. Christian education really allowed me to understand where music fits into my Christian lifestyle and um, learning how to love other people with my music and perform. Um, it's just everything about it, really. Um, and being able to work on something that requires perfecting constantly is such a similar Thing to living out your Christian life every day and noticing more and more things about yourself that you want to be perfect and you can't get them perfect. Um, it's very similar to working on an instrument or an art. Um, and so that can be very frustrating if you don't have, if I didn't have my faith, I would be very frustrated and depressed at a lot of times. <laughs> It's not reality to think that you can win everything that you ever apply yourself to or all the competitions that you go to. So um, having a Christian perspective and having a higher uh, goal and something higher to pursue has really um, brought into context what, uh, what music really is about and what I'm really striving for. I would say definitely come to Bellhaven because it was so awesome for my four years. I just, it was perfect for me. I think that it's a good fit um, being such a small school and a small music department because 
You have so many opportunities to perform if you're looking into a performance degree. Um, you also have just such a close relationship with your teachers and your mentors. I think it's how hard you work and how much you apply yourself and how willing you are to learn that really defines your success. Um, and I would say that, you know, Mr. Song and all the faculty here are just world class and they're just fantastic and I would highly recommend coming to study about Bellhaven.